Hey y'all, it's your girl Daisy Dukes aka The Shy Stripper. So today, as you can already tell from the title, I will be teaching you how to dance at a white club versus a black club. So we're first going to start off with the white club and then I'm going to show you the black club dancing. And I have a special guest with me today. Hi. So she is going to be also learning how to dance at the black club. Say my name. And today I have a special guest. Hi. Luna. So we're going to be teaching her how to dance at a black club since she's already worked at a white club. Okay. Get ready. Sit like a dude. You know how to be. All right. You ready? Yeah, big. Yeah. You feel it? You feel it? I know you feel it. Yeah, I feel big, don't it? Yeah, you like this dance. I bet you like it more than I do. Okay, I would like to give a disclaimer. I have not been in a club since March. So I know my dancing is hella rusty. Please do not roast me in the comments. But a thing about the white club that me and Daisy used to work at, sometimes you really didn't have to know how to dance. I knew how to dance. I know it didn't look like it there, but trust me. But you had a lot of girls who no rhythm whatsoever or rhythm even worse than me, didn't know how to like relax their muscles. Like they looked very awkward but they had long blonde hair and blue eyes or a cute little face. So you would still, they would still make a lot of money. And I mean, there's no hate for that. All I'm telling you is that sometimes if you got a certain look at a club that you'll make money, even if you can't dance. And sometimes even if you can dance, you won't make as much just because you have a certain look. So that's the thing you need to learn about this kind of work. Cause if you don't learn that soon, you're going to take it personally and that's not good for your mental health. But how our dances worked at the white club we used to work at, the first one I did was our regular floor dances. They were $10. And the rules for those, we could only be in someone's lap for three seconds at a time. And then you would have to get up and you'd have to wait a while before you could be in their lap again. So that's why you kind of, it's kind of like playing musical chairs more or less. I mean, you can rub all up on them and they can't really touch much of anything while they're out there either. Also, you would be in a little armchair, whereas in the VIP, it was 25. Um, it would be a full out sofa. We didn't really have a sofa to demonstrate with, hence one of the reasons my dancing looks so awkward. I can't really, I don't have all the space to do it on, but in VIP, you can grind on them as long as you want. And honestly, that's what a majority of VIP was. Like you just kind of shake some booty and you grind on them. And when I first started, I'm like, shouldn't I be doing more? But the thing about men, they just want you to grind on them. They just want you to be on their dick. Can I say that on YouTube? They just want you to grind on their dick. Like that's pretty much it. And you're going to be, you probably be there like, man, this is boring. I bet they don't want another dance. But while you're thinking that as a dancer, they're over there like, man, mm, mm, they, they are loving it. So I'm just telling you, you don't got to be wild. You just got to know what you're working with. So another thing that's important in the white club, um, whenever you're on stage, a good way to kind of grab someone's attention is to do things like eye contact. Um, the stage is kind of a big part of the white club what, that we worked at. They would call you, call your name. They would announce that you were up next and it would be your turn and we would go on rotation. And if you had regulars there that liked you and stuff like that, that would be their chance to throw a lot of money on you. And it was a pretty decent, it was a really big stage. It was the focal point of the club. So it was a good way for you to kind of showcase to all the customers and make sure that you were being seen. So a lot of times what I would do personally um, if I noticed someone wasn't paying attention while I was doing a lot on stage during our second song, you would take your top off. If they were close enough to me, I would throw my bra at them. And it's not like it's aggressive, like they would realize what would happen. A lot of guys would actually like realize it and come tip me on stage after that. So it was really effective. I mean, as long as they can tell that you're being playful. Um, also, like I said, eye contact, I kind of would stare some guys down until they came over to me. I would smack my ass like really loud. Actually, they got on me for that because I'm like, <laughs> except in a big echoey room. 
Um, the club owner actually got on me for that. He's like, every time you do that, we think that someone's getting hit and security gets confused. So you gotta do that less. But it made everyone look, it grabbed people's attention. And then also, even if you weren't on stage at the club, we had this big table that kind of people use as a makeshift stage. Um, you could have like three or four, four girls on it at a time at the most, but some girls would just stand there and twerk. I would just go and like stretch my legs out or something or like, I do back bends and stuff like that or like even cartwheels because I used to do gymnastics. So where I lack an ass, I would make up for it and like contortioning and shit and I would wait for guys to come up and I would just like prop my leg up on them or I would even pull them in and stuff like that and it's just as long as you can be interactive and kind of like make someone feel like you're focusing on them you can usually make a decent amount of money at the white club that we were at so things to consider depending on what kind of club that you go to of course every club is different but a lot of tips can kind of be universally applied because even if you're at a club where they prefer booty shaking more it's still going to be important for you to be able to grab someone's attention <laughs> who may do way more way less than what I did that's pretty much kind of what I do um, of course the chair is gonna be different but it's still a basic chair and so you see me holding on to the chair in front of me and that's because usually since we're doing a lot of movement we need we may need a little bit more support especially if you're doing multiple songs so you want to a lot of at least a lot of girls at my club do we'll hold on to chairs we'll hold on to tables we'll hold on to the stage if we're like right by the stage and we'll just use that as a support to just, you know, shake some booty. <laughs> when you're da not dancing on the chair and you're taking a break, giving your thighs a break. You're gonna bend over, arch your back a little bit. Like you're kind of like you're squatting and shake your, just move your hips from side to side. My hips from side to side. Mine still moves like that. But and shake it my butt from side to side. I feel like this probably- Arch your back more. And just shake it from side to side. And you can go down lower with it and give them a view. I don't practice this off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way. Another thing that you can do when you're just like chilling the booty clap. I'm small booty, so. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lies. Anyways, I'm small booty, so it don't the move lies. as well. But you're basically, when I learned it, you stand on your tippy toes to learn it, and you're moving your leg like this. So my leg is moving like this. And you keep doing it. And eventually, you won't need to stand on your tippy toes anymore. You can just do it normal with just mainly moving your thighs. So, um, I was told to practice holding on to the pole and do it too. The thing that you can do when you're not dancing um, on the chair and you're in the black club is really you can just bend over and just start like playing with your butt. Okay, I'm gonna do a lot of <laughs> Yeah. Like, cause you know, they like a view or whatever and they think they can almost see something down there. Um, so just bend over. Like say I just been twerking or whatever. I bend over and just jiggle it a little bit. Slap it, jiggle it, you know, and then go back to shaking. Slap it, jiggle it a little bit while you get your life together. <laughs> and then come back up. <laughs> so 
all about just different angles, different ways to make your butt look good, arching your back, shaking your butt in different ways. <laughs> I usually just shake your butt in front of them too. So say this is the table or whatnot that I'm holding on to. The customer is behind me. Just shake your butt. Just twerk like you normally would. Sometimes I even go on the floor with it. They can jiggle, smack it, come back up. Yeah, once you come back up, you know, you're doing all that. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can get back down on them, start grinding, all that. Those are just a few of the tips that I have for dancing at the Black Club. At my club, primarily you're doing table dances. Um, they have a VIP area, but it's really small. And not many customers go to the VIP. I did get to go last Sunday. And so pretty much I just do all of that, plus what Luna did in her VIP area, just with my shoes off, you know, getting down in front of them, shaking booty, all that, blah, blah, blah. Just having a good time. <laughs> tips we have for dancing at the white club versus the black club i hope you all enjoyed it i hope it was helpful for you all um if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below um and i'll also leave the songs that we were actually dancing to because she actually had a song that she dances to at the white club and i actually had a song that i danced to at the black club yeah. so i'll leave that in the description box if you want to know and you want to practice dancing to it any fun thoughts um thank you guys for supporting my friend if any of you guys are getting into the dancer lifestyle i wish you the best of luck i know it can be really nerve-wracking but you just gotta <laughs> okay so if you have any other video requests please let me know in the comments below but like comment subscribe and thanks for watching